here at Vintage Gun Scopes, we buy a lot of scopes and we like to buy them like this. But you can't do that unless everybody's on the same page with grading. And what we notice, and everybody else probably knows this if you're dealing guns at all, is everybody's opinion of grade is different. It's all subjective based on their own deal. So we set up our objective grading criteria, which you can find on the website, to help solve that problem for our customer. But we still get, we still get ripped off once in a while. Um, this is a beautiful scope. We bought this from a private individual and he said it was perfect and I paid a lot for it and this will be a great scope for somebody that's looking for this for one of our customers as soon as we make the optics perfect like the scope is it'll be great for one of our customers and he he said it was perfect and when it showed up it was perfect so we're very happy with that that's the way it should be contrast we got this box of 11 scopes in from a natural gun dealer and the first thing I noticed is Wow, why would a gun dealer pack scopes like that? Everything in this box was graded from excellent to mint to new in box. And when we start opening it up, this one he graded as mint when he sold it to me. I didn't get to see pictures. He didn't have pictures, and that was my fault. It has a sticker on it, but it was common to leave that sticker on and then go hunt with these scopes in the field until it fell off. You can see it's obviously been hunted with. It has numerous kind of minor to less than minor marks on it. You can see it was mounted. Um, so we got this as a mint scope and uh, you know our customer will get this objectively graded by our grading criteria as a good scope. Here's that new in, quote new in box weaver. Actually he didn't say new in box in his description. It said NIB. So maybe NIB means not in a box or never seen, never in a box or something, but it's been hunted. It's been mounted. You can see that that's just a, just a scope, depending on how it cleans up and what's under those rings, it'll probably end up being somewhere between good and very good. Um, here's a Weaver Microtrack V92, missing a lot of finish, has some corrosion, a lot of, oh, look at the inside. It's gross. Uh, none of our customers will ever see that scope. It's just too far gone. That'll be a part scope or later down the road we'll strip it and completely restore it to be like new again. Another 3x9 Redfield that was graded to us as excellent, just like, just like the Microtrack. And where he grades those as excellent, when we put our grading criteria to that, look at that heavy damage. You can feel it's rough all the way through into the metal pretty deep same thing here and then the telltale sign that's been hunted a ton it's missing all that finish around the end oh look at this somebody's actually this is this is where it stops somebody gouged the heck out of the ocular in several spots covered it up with some i don't know fingernail polish or something that's where it ends that scope n none of my customers will ever see that that will also go in as a part scope so there you go we have our objective grading criteria on the website so that our customers, if they want a mint scope, that's what they get. Um, and if our customers want a good scope, that's what they get. And they don't ever have to see this garbage at all. But at least they didn't pay mint prices for good scopes or excellent prices for garbage.